Hello and welcome to RC Rebels. I am killing you and today I will be doing my review on the ECX amp. This is the, uh, the build it kit. It pretty much comes with everything you need for it. But you have to build it yourself. It's got a full blown instruction manual for it. Step by step. Pretty much tells you exactly how to do it. It's not too bad. It comes with the tools required. It comes with a battery pack and charger. Uh, the charger is not the best charger. It takes forever to charge. The battery is pretty good. I mean, I would recommend switching to a LiPo in the future. The remote, I mean, it's not very good, but it's not bad. It does the job to start off with. But, I mean, you can crack this open. It has your, your knobs and your dials and everything in there. You can tune it all in. But, let's move to the truck. I decided to leave my body clear because I'm going to have temperature gauges and everything else running in here and I want to be able to see it while I'm driving it. For the most part, this is a pretty decent vehicle to start off with. If you're a beginner, it's, it's amazing for just starting. Um, it's got 90 millimeter front shocks. It's got 105 millimeter rear shocks. They all come pre-dampened with their shock oil and everything else in them. Um, the steering on it is, is not the greatest steering. It's a little lunky, a little clunky. Uh, it likes a stick. When you build it, you'll notice sometimes the two screws that hold in the pivot arms and everything else likes to rub on the chassis. Um, I would highly recommend upgrading to the aluminum uh, servo savers and replacing the actual servo itself with a Metal Gear High Torque servo. Uh, the tires are good. They grip pretty well. It uh, doesn't grip too well in grass or dirt. I might just not have my battery charged all the way, but it's possible. Um, it is a brushed system. I do believe it's a 20 turn. I'll spin it around some more and get to the electronics here. All right, the electronics itself is actually a whole combo. It's got the electronic speed control and receiver built into one. I'm not a fan of that. I would personally like to have my unit separate so if something fails, you don't have to go out and replace a bunch of different parts. Um, for the most part, like I said, though, it's, it's pretty good. It does what it's supposed to do. It does what it says it does. These things are highly modifiable. You can do just about anything you want with it. I have an extensive amount of parts coming in to replace just about everything you see now so if you want to stay tuned for the next videos to come you will definitely see the builds that i'm planning on doing with this and also keep posted the videos because my partner on this will also be doing a review on his ecx amp but here in just a few we'll take it out and see what this thing can do